I was just sent this video and somebody's begging me to check it out and say, um, can you look into this guy, do a deep dive into this, this psychic who is preying on the indigenous population across Canada. I've never heard of this person before. Apparently his name is indigenous medium, Sean Leonard. Um, so I took a quick look at the video and I'm going to show you guys parts of it too. And you can kind of see what we're putting, you know, what we're up against. It's like, there's a, there's one of these people every five feet or something. <laughs> Let me show you. My name is Sean Leonard. I'm an Aboriginal medium, and I speak the language of spirit. But she's telling me she's like her, like her angel. Her name is Angel. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I noticed this when I watched it the first time. Now that this is the second time I'm watching it, does it just not feel like one of those um, like made-for-TV movies, the um, Hallmark Channel or something like that? Did you hear when he when when he got her name and he says it's Angel and she said it, that the audience all went ooh and then there was this piano key played. Here, let me play it real quick. Listen. Her, like her angel her name is angel oh, okay she says it's a leap year did you see that chord you know it just sounds so hokey now look at these people in this room i don't know and this woman the acting looks horrible let's let's, let's just look at her expression i'll watch again her name is angel oh, okay she says, it's a leap year. Oh my gosh, yes. Is there somebody in pipe? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think they're actors. I mean, that just was so hokey. Okay, hold on, wait, wait. Here, here, let's see what else. Remember that, you know? <laughs> the people, they just look so unrealistic. Just look at the expressions of this, the people in the in in front. Look. Yes. <laughs> Is there somebody named Piper that you know? <laughs> Spirits communicate with me. I see, I feel, I hear. Do you know if he had any vision issues as well? Yes. Because he's like showing me one eye is a little bit blurry for some reason. Yeah. See, I'm getting goosebumps. Nobody done anything with a bra, did they? Yes, we did. Okay. <laughs> uh. Okay, look at how many camera angles are in this room. This is, this is a. You got him on stage. They're filming him. They're filming the audience. Camera, camera, camera. Now there are logos, and one of the things that I that you can usually tell if it's if it's um if they're actors is that they don't have logos, and they just a little, a little too complete. And as I was watching this, there are some logos. They're not big, like one of them said Florida, um, or like a university. There is one guy towards the end. It says Champion on his hat, and it's the brand of Champion. So. It still feels like they're actors. And, you know, obviously they're filming this for some special reason. This is a, looks like a gymnasium. And then they've got all the curtains around it special with the lighting on it to give it that warm look. But she's telling me she's like her, like her angel. Her name is Angel. Oh, okay. She says, it's a leap year. Oh my gosh, yes. Is there somebody named Piper that you know? Spirits communicate with me.
Yeah, I don't really care, dude, at this moment, what, what you say. They just look, I don't know, just kind of finished a little bit. The hair, the makeup. Like they, they know they're there for a photo shoot. Very few. Like they're told. It's very hokey. This guy right here, he has a champion shirt on with this, the champion logo here. That's the only person I can see in this entire audience that was wearing anything that looked like it had a branding on it. Or something written on her shirt. And this one says, I don't know, you can't really tell. It doesn't look like a brand. Something about hearts. Anything else? Oh, okay, so it just goes on to this guy. Very extreme close-ups of his pores and his face. So they follow all these people. Okay, so here they are at the at the gathering. They with those living in the spirit world. She's blowing a kiss. What I experienced with Sean. A testimonial. Just so happens to be somebody they brought him out to the wilderness to film him. I suppose her too. Oh, I don't know if I'd want to be on camera with that close of a close up. Opened my mind and it's opened my heart. I'm at peace and I feel like I'm a different person now. It's been a life changing experience. Like I feel like I can breathe again. Yeah, well, you're outside, lady. I, I, you know, I don't know who this guy is. He's got, he's spirit talker. Um, he's doing his thing out there. And I don't see how anybody could do a deep dive in this man. I mean, I don't, I don't. <laughs> People think I could do miracles, I guess. The, the promo that has just been sent to me looks like it is cleverly put together some money's been put into it to to make make a show to make a um, promo for a tv show possibly or who knows what but i guess he's going to be going and doing his thing across canada he's um uh his gig is to be the indigenous medium spirit talker you know there there's my heart goes out to people who are affected by this because to to the person who's affecting them, that this person's gotten into their family and and um, has uh, you know everybody in the family believe in it or or whatever. It it it's horrible. It's 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 just it's a horrible feeling that you've kind of lost somebody who had critical thinking skills before to this to this. <laughs> these tricks and the show we just saw this two minute little show is just clipped and or it's not real we don't we don't know there's not anything to go on that there's probably 50 more people just like this in in doing his gig uh it, I don't know what to say. He's not talking to the dead, number one. Number two, this promotion, this commercial looks like a commercial. Does not look like any event I've ever seen or ever been at that would be so structured and careful and 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 so on. Plus, it's heavily edited. Um somebody's looks like they've got some money to and is trying to make their um to get their 15 minutes of fame so that they can get their tv show that's what it looks like to me whether he's really communicating with the dead no he's not i mean if it's a show it could be anything they're saying right there it, it, they could have had lines they memorized we don't know anyway that's what I think of Spirit Talker. You know, I guess he'll be coming to a location near you in Canada. Just feels like 
giant <laughs> James Randi used to say they're they're rubber ducks. You know, you sink one and three more pop up. <laughs> you just can't win. Sink them, sink them, sink them, sink them, sink them. They got more pop up. And there's a lot of money in this. So it doesn't surprise me at all that somebody would want to take this on. Good luck. Just be cautious out there, people.